And here's a look at the overview, first of all. So Hurricane Ingrid uh, just getting ready to make landfall in northeast Mexico. Then there's an area of interest in the western part of the Caribbean. There are some indications that something may develop as it comes up into the Gulf. And then behind that, uh, we've got X Umberto Invest 94L, which may once again become a tropical system. So we'll take a look at what's going on with Ingrid. And it's a 75 mile per hour hurricane, a category one hurricane moving west northwest at seven miles per hour. Here's the forecast track and intensities. Again, it's going to be making landfall over the next several hours and then coming in slowly into Mexico and into these very high mountains right here. Those mountains from Monterey and on southward again as high as 10,000 feet. And what that's going to do is it's going to exacerbate the flooding concerns just as we have seen in Colorado. You bring all that moisture into mountainous terrain and the result is you get more lifting and even more rain and then that rain is channeled and funneled so there could be a life threatening flash floods and mudslides not only there in the mountains but also along the coast. Now we're getting a pretty good look at this thing on radar. It's about halfway between Brownsville and Tampico. This is the state of uh, Tamaulipas and right in here is where you've got the eye wall coming in which is not as well defined as it was three hours ago and it's open on the south side. No doubt some very uh, heavy rain and strong wind now driving into these coastal areas. You know, I was looking at this on the Google Maps. There's hardly any development in these coastal areas, and I'm sure that has a lot to do with the history of hurricanes in this part of the world. Uh, in this uh, area in general, seeing some small, smaller towns there, and they're going to be in for wind and very heavy rain through the course of the day today. So here's a look at our wind stream graphic. There's the center of the storm. Then you've got a broad onshore flow that reaches all the way up into South Texas. Winds now gusting to 30 miles per hour. South Padre Island gusting to 22 in Corpus Christi. So we expect to see more of that today and about two to three inches of rain in South Texas. Well, as you mentioned, double digit rainfall in areas farther south in Mexico.